So throughout the ages, I think it's fair to say that we have gained more freedom of to do what we want with our bodies. And at the same time, this, this modern form of power discipline has come into being. So we are disciplining our bodies to make them look beautiful, slim, strong. And we, we have the idea that we've gained more freedom, but we can wonder if that's really the case. This is, uh, this is the work in gratitude, um, a plaster mold of a monument I made. As you know, plaster is something very smooth and soft, but once applied, it becomes incredibly uh, hard very quickly. Um, and as you see, there's this movement um, in, the, in the surfaces of the work. These are actually my hands, because uh, I applied the plaster with, with with just my hands, and I apply them in reassuring motions. So it's these softly reassuring motions as if you would um, pat someone on the shoulder when they're in trouble or are feeling uh, not so well. Se você quer vencer, Seja um mosquito. E eu falo, e em especial, para quem mora na América Latina. Eles dominaram tudo. Só para esclarecer, a gente nunca gostou de ser picada. Eu sou minha mãe e eu sou minha filha. <laughs> en toen begon ik me af te vragen, maar waar komt dat eigenlijk vandaan? En kan ik het veranderen? En ja. je kunt ook denken, ik doe dat niet meer, ik ga het anders doen. Maar zolang je niet bij de kern van het probleem bent gekomen, kun je het niet veranderen. Dan val je steeds weer in dezelfde valkuil. Omdat je dezelfde overtuigingen hebt die je ooit geïnhaleerd hebt van je ouders. En dat is wat Maurits is om de tweedehands trauma. I take off my glasses and my, most of my accessories and I start looking through the fashion magazine. Usually quite intuitively I pick a photo and I try to reenact this image as precisely as possible. So I sort of move through the image uh, from my legs to my face and I try to put my limbs and my body in exactly the same pose as the fashion image. In mijn werk ben ik geïnteresseerd in wat wordt gemeten en wat wordt niet gemeten. Uh, wat is ruis en wat is een signaal? Ik um, ben geïnteresseerd in patronen, systemen, maar ook in lichaamsgeheugen, lichaamsintelligentie. En vooral de complexiteit van ons emotioneel leven. Um, what I'm interested in is, however, not the bodies themselves, but how they are perceived as non-normative. And I'm also interested in how to change this perception about uh, what we think might be non-normative about bodies. As its own thing, somewhat distant from me and yet all-consuming, what it is doing, what are its needs, these have a force and a presence now that exceeds me. 